Hello, kindergarten friends. It's Bible time, all right? This week, we're learning about Jonah and the whale. And Jonah was a Bible character. He was a real person who God loved, and he made some good choices and some bad choices. So this week, we're going to learn what those good choices were and what those bad choices were and how we can learn from Jonah and make some wise choices, all right? So today, the Bible story is called Jonah Goes to Nineveh. Jonah is not looking so good here. I wonder what happened. And here's a whale or a big fish in the ocean. Some of you might already know this story, but if you haven't heard it ever, you're going to hear it today. And if you have, just still play Pay close attention, okay? Jonah goes to Nineveh. You can read about this in the Bible, this story in Jonah chapters 1 through 3. So here we go. Jonah was a prophet of God, which means that he was someone who has special knowledge from God and tells others about events that are going to happen in the future. So God spoke through prophets, and prophets are people that have knowledge from God. God tells them something. They tell other people and they always tell other people about what stuff is going to happen in the future. One day God said to Jonah, go to the city of Nineveh. Tell the people to stop doing bad things. Jonah didn't want to tell people in Nineveh what God said, so he ran away. Ugh. Jonah got on a boat to sail across the sea to Tarshish. He told the sailors that he was running away from God. To stop Jonah from running away, God sent a huge storm. The boat began to break apart. The sailors were so scared. Jonah had hidden in the bottom of the boat and was fast asleep. The boat's captain shook him awake. How can you sleep? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will hear your prayers and we all won't die, said the captain. Jonah answered, my God sent this storm. If you throw me into the water, everything will calm down. For a while, the sailors tried to row the boat back to land, but the storm was too, too strong. So they begged God not to punish them for throwing Jonah into the sea. And then they picked him up and threw him overboard. Splash! The storm stopped right away. The sailors were amazed. They worshipped God while Jonah was all alone in the deep water. But God had not forgotten about Jonah he sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Gulp. Jonah was now in the belly of a big fish, and he spent three days and three nights in the fish's belly. During that time, Jonah talked to God. He told God that he was sorry he tried to run away, and he asked God to forgive him. Then God commanded the fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land. So this is why Jonah looks like this. He was just in the belly of a whale for three days and three nights. So he's probably pretty slimy and pretty smelly, right? God told Jonah once again to go to Nineveh and tell the people to turn from their wicked ways and worship God. This time, Jonah obeyed. Nineveh was a very large and important city. When Jonah entered the city, he cried out, Nineveh will be destroyed in 40 days because it is so wicked. When the people of Nineveh heard that Jonah, what Jonah had to say, they were afraid. They rushed to tell the king, and he became afraid as well. All the people, even the king, were sorry for their evil ways. They told God how sorry they were, and they began to live their lives according to God's way. When God saw how sorry the people were for all the bad things they had done, guess what? He forgave them. God decided he wouldn't destroy Nineveh. And that's the end of the story. So, obviously, Jonah made a really bad decision to not listen to God and run away from God. Can we really ever run away from God? No, we could try, but God always knows where we are, what we're thinking, how we're feeling. So you can't really run away from God. All right. But then what happened was Jonah realized what he did wrong and he asked God to forgive him and God did forgive him. And he went to Nineveh and he told the people about God. And then all of them also asked God to forgive them. So it's a great ending of the story. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll learn a little bit more during the week. So bye, friends.